Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, the reason I chose Berkshire was because I believe management has to do a lot with profitability of a corporation and Berkshire's management has done a very good job of making this company profitable. Let's start. The company overview. This company was established in 1967. It's a diversified holdings group that primar primarily operates in the U.S. It's headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska. It's led by Chairman and CEO Warren Buffett. The company is also known as Berkshire or the group. The company engages in provision of insurance and reinsurance products and services. It is also involved in non-insurance businesses, including utilities, energy, finance, manufacturing, retail, retail and service, which make up seven of the business divisions, seven business divisions that make up the company. Now we will discuss the Berkshire's financial analysis. Let's see if my, you can see my visual. There's Berkshire's a couple ratios I will be discussing. The first one we will discuss is a liquidity. First, beginning with the current ratio, Berkshire has a current ratio of 3.83 compared to the industry of 3.51. It basically means the com how good the company could pay their short-term bills. The quick ratio is at a 3.45 compared to the industry of a 3.41, which is uh, just a little higher than the industry it's still saying it's managing their company in good financial health. The debt to equity ratio, it's, it has to do with the company to pay their long-term obligations. In this case, Berkshire's debt equity ratio is 0.39, as well as the industry of a 0.39. Their total asset turnover is at a, is for Berkshire is at a 0.39, and the industry would be at a 0.38. The asset turnover for Berkshire means that 0.39 of every dollar in assets generates 0.39 cents in sales, not much higher than the industry. For profit margin ratios. Uh, for Berkshire, it's at a 12.14 compared to the industry of a 10.83. The return on assets for Berkshire is at a 4.16 compared to the industry of a 3.56. The return on equity is at a 9.80 compared to the industry of a 9.91. The companies pay a lot of attention to the profit margin profitability ratios. Um, it's basically saying Berkshire's profit margin, the company generates 12 cents in profit for every dollar of sales compared to the industry of a, about 11 cents per dollar. They are making more than average profit. On the return on assets, Berkshire is making about 4 cents for every dollar in assets compared to 3 cents in, in the industry the industry is making. The fact that the return on equity exceeds the return on assets reflects Berkshire's use of financial leverage. Uh, market to book ratio for Berkshire is a 1.35 compared to the industry of a 1.07. It's basically saying that since it's over one, Berkshire has been successful in creating value for its stockholders. Compared to the industry, Berkshire is bringing more value, more creating more value. Okay. Next, we will see, uh, we will go through the SWOT analysis, uh, starting with strengths. Berks uh, one of their strengths is Berkshire's business portfolio is strong and diversified. Uh, another one of their strengths is their excellent management and Excellent management includes uh, their CEO, Warren Buffett, which has made great investments to all their other managements that 
run themselves independently. The, another of the strengths is the company can fund purchases on investments without issuing debt or equity, as you can see in the ratios mentioned. Their weaknesses is, number one, their succession instability. They are not sure about, of a, they're in, they don't have a stable succession plan. They are still dependent on Warren Buffett. They haven't really defined that. Another one is the lack of brand awareness. The company is mostly recognized by Warren Buffett being their CEO. Many times people don't really know what the company is or does. And another one would be an over-dependence on McLean Company on Walmart. An opportunity is the strategic acquisitions, increased in their investment of the big four companies, as I explained on my paper, international expansion. Threats would be increased occurrence of natural, natural catastrophes, rising of insurance fraud, increased competition, and increased competition. Some strategic recommendations I would make for the company would be to Berkshire should clearly define a succession strategy, Warren should participate in his succession planning, um, promote brand awareness so people see Berkshire's company as more than just Warren Buffett. Practice to stand out on their own may not know, since many may not know who the company is or what they do. McLean Company should lower their over-dependence on Walmart so the company won't suffer if Walmart chooses different distributors. Um, also, they need to make room for their financial strategy in their financial strategy for natural, natural catastrophes. Um, they can effectively and efficiently claim, uh, review claims to avoid fraud. And last but not least, to remain competitive, maintain their reputation in the industry, and tactically work on their weakness. That is everything. I will be glad to answer any questions you have. Thank you.